So here we have our right triangle in quadrant one, and we want to work out the angle theta here. So this is our right triangle. So we have our angle, our opposite being eight, our adjacent being square root 161, and our hypotenuse is 15. So if you work out the Pythagorean theorem, one, root 161 squared plus eight squared equals 15 squared. So we can work out the, the angle here. So we have the shape of the triangle based on these ratios. So we have an idea what this shape looks like. Now we want to get this idea, translate this into the shape in terms of the angle in degrees. So what we could do is we could express this using sine. And we can say that sine theta is going to be the opposite or the vertical divided by the hypotenuse, which is 15. Okay, oops. The hypotenuse is 15. Or we can describe this with the shape of cosine. Okay, we can say the cosine theta, theta is adjacent or the horizontal divided by the hypotenuse. And that's perfectly fine as well. And we can use either one of these. And since we're, we're starting with a ratio, we can undo the sine or use the arc sine to figure out theta. And we same thing here. We can start with the, the cosine. Sorry, I made a mistake with the cosine here. This is square root 131. This is our 161. Okay, we can start with the cosine ratio and undo the cosine ratio using arc cosine to get the angle. So I'm going to use the the tan, so I'm going to start with the, the slope of 8 over square root 161. And that ratio will, if I undo that ratio, okay, I can get the angle. So to undo this ratio, I'm going to use the arctan function or the inverse tan. And using my calculator, I'm going to work that out. And my calculator is going to give me the angle of, now let me just get my calculator here. My angle is going to, the calculator is giving me, if I put this into my tangent, so it's going to be 8 divided by square root 161, okay, which is 0 0.630. And I'm going to undo that with an arctan. So I'm going to arctan that, and I get an angle of 32.23 degrees, which looks about right. So using this description, the slope description of this triangle, the shape of this triangle, we can convert that into the angle, the degree description, by using arctan. So all we're doing is going back and forth using the tan or the arctan, depending on if we started with the ratio or starting with the angle. Now it's important to note that, notice that I'm not putting this into, into decimals here. Okay, it's really important that we start getting used to this because when we can, we wanna keep exact values. So here we, the exact ratio is eight to 15, the exact ratio is square root 161 to 15. We don't wanna convert that to decimals unless we have to. And when we need to convert to decimals, when we, anytime we introduce going translating from ratio description of the shape, to the angle description of the shape, we need a calculator except for very select angles where we don't need a calculator. And when we introduce a calculator, that's when we start giving the decimal values. That's the only time it's appropriate to be using the decimal values for these. Okay, so how do we deal? Notice that we've drawn this in a circle here. So I've got my angle in a circle, but I want to be able to do all the angles in a circle. So I can do make my right triangle in quadrant one, but I want to go use all the angles from zero to 360 degrees. And to do that, we need a different model for describing our ratios, okay? Because our angles, that's no problem. You can see definitely, you know, 360 degrees in here, that's no problem. But how do we describe the ratio when we go beyond 90 degrees? And to do that, we, we have to redefine our trig ratios. And we're gonna redefine them this way. So, Instead of sine theta being opposite over hypotenuse, we're going to use sine theta is equal to the y-coordinate divided by the radius. So in this case here, the y, 
it's opposite to the angle and the radius is same as a hypotenuse so this is fairly consistent okay so it's not a huge stretch to make that change but instead of talking about opposite now we're going to talk about vertical or y position of that angle for cosine we're going to change it from adjacent to hypotenuse to the x position the horizontal divided by the radius well that's very similar to adjacent over hypotenuse Okay, but it's just a slight tweak. And with tan, we're going to change that to y over x. Well, y over x is still slope. Okay, now the reason why we want to do this is, is because at this point, we can, if we just change, slightly change our definition, instead of adjacent to hypotenuse, we can now, using x, we can now go backwards in this quadrant here and describe an angle bigger than 90 degrees. Okay, if I go negative x and positive y, I get an angle that is over here, which has a negative x, positive y, and we can do trig on that angle using those definitions. Okay, same with down below, we can go now negative y, negative x and allows me to describe an angle that's beyond 90 degrees so this is the the change and this is how we're going to accommodate this change instead of you thinking of of a triangle with opposite adjacent we're going to start talking about horizontal vertical or x and y and that allows us to go all the way around the circle so this is using this new definition we're going to start doing our trig this way